Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mr. Arts. So in this episode, I will show you my guide on how to draw everything. So let's get to it. You can apply this philosophy or process to any type of art style you have, either cartoony, either realistic. There is a quote by the CEO of Pixar at Cadwell, art is not about drawing, it's about learning how to see. So drawing has two properties one is seeing and the other one is catching anything that you do with paper and the pencil okay first we will highlight seeing so how to see seeing is observation and you observe things by asking questions observation happens when you ask questions okay like if you want to draw an apple when you want to draw something, go like this. Let's draw this thing like boom. No, it does not work like that. You have to ask some questions from yourself to get yourself clear. Again, observation happens when you ask questions. You learn things by asking questions. When you have those answers, you put those answers in your art. Now, let's get to the more specifics of drawing. Now let's see the step by step process of seeing. First is that the subject has any story to it, to what does it represent, the second is the flow slash gesture, the main pose to it and the third is the shapes and forms to the subject. What do I mean by flow and gesture? Like the human body, a body needs a skeleton to stand, to articulate. So. The flow slash gesture is the skeleton of the drawing. Drawing that has no gesture is stiff, but if you add gesture to it, it makes it more live. The gesture can be one line or a bunch of scribbly sketches. Then you get the flow and gesture. On top of that, your shapes, your basic shapes come. You need to understand this thing. You can really draw anything you want by using these three shapes. What I call the big three. The circle, the square and the triangle. You can draw anything or everything by using these three shapes. You can use them individually alone or you can use a combination of these shapes to draw anything you want. Everything you see is made up of a combination of these shapes. Sort of draw anything you want so that's how it works in your environment write all these shapes all these little shapes are combined you know the human face the camera the microphone near me the ipad the mics the light everything the house the window the ac all these things they are a combination of different shapes think of these shapes something that can be morphed shapes Think in shapes. So this is the basic step, right? Look at the subject, establish the gesture, understand the story beneath it, then gesture and shapes and forms. The thing is, we live in a 3D world. So we live in a three-dimensional world. We are not things that we could just draw on a piece of paper. Paper, paper is two-dimensional, but we live in a 3D world where there is depth and you need to recreate that depth into your drawing. To do that, you need to observe things in depth. Meaning you need to sort of not just looking for shapes but looking for forms. This is what I call the big five forms. The sphere, the cubes, the cylinder, the cone and the pyramid. Apparently these five things, think of these shapes as clay which can be morphed into different shapes these five things can be used to draw whatever you want these things the morphed version of these shapes is what you can actually see pretty much in everything these five forms are all you need to draw everything but you need to know how to draw these shapes in perspective 
the example of the mode version of these shapes this is called the combination of shapes like C is observation like the cameraman behind and I am seeing the forms and shapes of his body okay when you get the information about the subject take that information and start drawing so this is how you see stuff so how will you learn how to draw okay you draw things by mastering the most important tool you have which is the hand the hardest part of drawing is seeing observing observing stuff trying to understand the subject the most important element of drawing is a line a line forms a shape a shape comes and turns into a form and you put a form together to make a drawing you master drawing by the repetition of drawing more lines different shapes and forms by doing all of those exercises you can get better at drawing so this is the flow chart of drawing everything the step by step observe it see it learn from it and make good art okay so this is all for today hope you learned from this video so i guess bye